Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you how does the resume of a Power BI developer should look like to get the interview calls for Power BI role. This video will be very helpful for all those guys who are looking to switch or the people who are not getting the interview calls. You will get to know what exactly you have to write and how to write. So watch the video completely without skipping anything. Okay, so let's start. Also, your resume should ideally be of one or two page, not more than that. Okay, I will discuss with you a two page resume which you can utilize in your portfolio. So let me take you to the resume. So as you can see here on the screen, we have a two page resume. Okay, so let's start what exactly you have to fill and how to fill. So let me zoom in a little bit so that the content is properly visible to you. Okay. I think it is clearly visible now. So you will have to start it with your first name and last name. You have to mention here your first name space last name then address which will contain a one liner address not a detail address. Okay, then your phone number and then your email ID. So these four things you have to include as a header in your resume. Okay, then comes your profile summary and the way I have mentioned here. Similarly, you can mention it in your resumes. Okay, so in the profile summary, the first point should be like BI developer at Falana company with 3.1 plus years of development experience in Microsoft Power BI tool and Alteryx ETL tool. If you are well versed with SSIS, you can mention here SSIS. If you are well versed with Tailend, you can mention here is Tailend or Informatica, any any of the ETL tools. Okay, then your second point should be experience in all phases of SDLC, SDLC such as design, development testing, defect management and deployment. So these are all the phases of SDLC. Then you have to mention it experience in developing SSAS that is SQL Server Analysis Services, Tabular Model and the Power BI reports using different DAX queries, visuals, filters and configuring dashboards with drill down cap capabilities. Okay, and I have bold the terms which are very important or which should be clearly visible to the recruiter. Okay. Now the next point will be working knowledge on Power BI objects like dashboard, reports, power views, creating workspaces, sharing dashboards, row level security implementation. Say, see here also I have bold row level security because this is something very important and it should be clearly visible. Okay. Your next point should include as hands on experience in SAP HANA database and Microsoft SQL Server database. So whatever uh, databases you are well versed like Oracle or any of the or MySQL whatever you know you can mention it here. Next good knowledge on Power BI data modeling and data warehousing concepts like star schema, snowflake schema, dimension and fact tables. So through this point you will be telling that you have proper knowledge to build any kind of data model in your Power BI reports. Okay. Then good experience of performance tuning with the help of DAX Studio. So as you might be aware of DAX Studio with the help of DAX Studio, we can do the performance tuning of, of, of all our DAX codes that we have created in our reports or dashboards. Okay, so you can mention this point also here. Then worked with the testing team to create test cases. Okay, for unit link and system testing. So through this point, you are telling about that you have an experience of testing also testing environment also as a power BI developer. Okay. Then next point is excellent communication skills and quick learner for next generation technologies. Okay, your communication skills as you know already know that it is the most important tool nowadays for all of us. Right. Then next point is expertise in working in challenging environments with restricted timelines. Okay. okay, so this thing you can mention. So the next one is you are a team player with good analytic and problem solving skills. So through this point you are telling that you are a team player. Okay. You have the ability to adjust within a team and take your work and responsibilities. Okay. And the last one is good analytical presentation and interpersonal skills with proficiency in demonstration and business requirement. Okay. So in this way you have to give a profile summary with inclusion of all these points the same way as I have written here. Okay. Next comes the technical skills that is the most important part in your resume. Okay. So in the technical skills it should be it should not be very lengthy. Okay. That you are detailing it. It should be very precise and up to the point. Okay, so you can mention here the tools, the languages known, the database on which you have worked upon and the productivity tool. So for the tools, you can mention here as Power BI Desktop. Okay, then the DAX Studio, which we which we use it for performance tuning, Alteryx, which is an ETL tool or any of the ETL tool like SSIS or Tailend, which you are using in your company. And the last one is SSAS, that is the tabular model that we create in Visual Studio. So these things you could include in the tools section in the technical skills part. 
And also, if you have more skills than this, then directly include it here. It is just a sample set which should be used to apply for Power BI roles. Okay. Then comes the languages known. For the languages known, you can mention here as SQL, that is structured query language. Then the DAX, that is data analysis expressions. Then the M query that is used in Power Query. M query is basically the M mashup code that is used in Power Query Editor in Power BI Desktop. Then the Python, which includes only the pandas and numpy libraries which we usually use for data and analytics okay so this thing you can include here then comes the database so here i have mentioned sap bw hana and microsoft sql server databases so you can mention yours in whatever in whatever you have worked upon okay and the last one is the productivity tool that is the microsoft office suite that includes everything like excel powerpoint word Okay, so all these things includes Microsoft Office tool. So you can mention it like this. Then comes the education qualification, which includes your BTEC or B, uh, BCA, BCom, uh, MCA, MTech, whatever you have done. Whichever is the last degree, you can mention it here. Okay, and the institute name from where you have done, the year of graduating, and the percentage. Then your 12th, and then that is your intermediate, and then the 10th class. That is a high school. So for every qualification, you have to mention the year and the percentage that you obtained in short and precise. Okay. So this is what we mention it on the first page. Then comes the second page, which includes your experience summary. Okay. In the experience summary, you have to mention like which company you have worked upon till now and what are the projects you have worked upon in detail. So that we will be focusing on here. So to give the experience summary, you have to first mention the company name. The project then comes the project title with name of the project then the role what you have been doing in that project then the duration till how many months or years you are in you were in that project and the technologies used in that particular project okay so these all things you can include in brief to give the overview of the project okay then comes the project summary in two or three lines you can mention the project summary and the roles and responsibilities that you had in that particular project okay so that you can mention here now if, if you are in the same company or if you are in the some other company you have switched during this period so you would have so you would have worked on more than one project right so you can mention the name of the different company or the existing company also uh, if you are in some other project so you can mention it here also then the project title the name of the project your role duration technology is used in the same way that we have used here okay and then the roles and responsibilities in that second project and the last one is co-curricular activities and achievements. So whatever achievements that you have obtained in your current organization or in the past organizations that you can mention it here in brief, in short. So you can mention it like this, rewarded multiple times with on spot awards, organized fun events within the project and delivery unit. And also you are a Microsoft certified data analyst associate issued by Microsoft. Okay. So this achievement, you can mention it here. You should not include the certificates that you obtain from uh, different uh, platforms uh, different uh, marketing platforms i won't take the name of any platforms but you should not uh, mention those platform names here that you have done certification from those platforms okay you should mention only the certified platforms like microsoft aws okay and then the declaration i hereby declare that the above written particulars are true to the best of my knowledge and belief first name and then your last name so this concludes your overall resume so this is the two page resume that wanted that I wanted to share with you all. Uh, you can utilize this sample in your resumes. You can compare it with your existing resumes if it is up to date with this or not. If not, then update it. And also in the comment box, let me know if you want this as a sample. I can provide you the link in the description box then. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe this channel as I will keep uploading such valuable videos for you all in the coming time also. Thank you.